Yeah, I think I probably need a hand down more than a hand up. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, I'm Sarah Giffro, otherwise known as Shaolin Spocker, and I play roller derby with the Rosie Rollers. So, I know a thing or two about roller skating, so I'm going to give you a few tips on how to become more awesome at that. I started out with zero skating experience, but um, I had done wushu for about seven years prior, so I thought, hey, I'm going to be totally awesome at this, right? Uh, as it turns out, I was actually really terrible. I had to work really hard to get good at skating. Knowing Kung Fu, totally not helpful. <laughs> um, but the good thing is, um, falling down is totally gonna happen and it's okay. So learn to accept it. It's gonna help you get good at skating. People who have been doing it for years still fall down. It's just part of the learning process. So um, don't worry, it doesn't mean you suck. <laughs> And speaking of falling, get some pads. It's going to make falling suck a lot less. I never skate without knee pads. Elbows and wrist guards are a good plan. Uh, helmets if you want daring stuff. Padded shorts if you don't have natural padding are also helpful. And number one rule is to get low because when you put on skates, you're adding about four inches to your height, raising your center of gravity, throwing you off balance. So you've got to get low in order to counter that and get more stable. And when we say get low, we mean bend at your knees, not at your waist. Because if you're bending forward, you're probably going to fall forward and it's going to hurt. So make sure that you're keeping your weight in your heels by bending your knees. Also, in order to get yourself going on roller skates, you need to create some friction like with any other mode of transport. And kicking your feet backwards is not really going to help you because you've got wheels on them. So push them out to the side to create that friction. Think 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock when you do that. And now that you're rolling, you're going to need to stop eventually. So there are a couple ways to do that. One is the T-stop where you're putting one foot perpendicular to your other one and dragging it behind you. And the other one is a plow stop, which is a lot like skiing. You're taking a wide stance pointing your toes towards each other and really leaning on those inside edges of your wheels to slow yourself down. And everybody's thinking, what about dragging my toe stops behind me, right? That's not necessarily the best thing for fast skating. It doesn't slow you down very quickly and it's pretty easy to get hurt that way. In roller derby, we usually turn around backwards before we use our toe stops. Woo, wrong wheels. <laughs> and that's a little tricky, as you can see. <laughs> And if you're thinking this all sounds a little intense and maybe I'm never going to be good at this, um, you can train up your body to get stronger, become more stable, and um, use all your body parts more efficiently. First part of that is your feet are awesome. You've got 33 joints, over 100 ligaments. Every single step you take in your entire day affects the alignment of your entire body. So it's going to be really beneficial to make sure your feet are balanced just through normal life. Um, for instance, you can work your feet by pointing and flexing them or rolling them in and out like the wing and sickle. And that's also going to help strengthen your ankles. And that's all going to help you be more stable just in normal walking around. And the other thing is do lots of squats. We do billions and trillions of squats. It's a good workout for your whole body if you're doing them right. So. Keep your knees in line with your hips and behind your toes and make sure you're really sitting back into it with your weight in your heels. And yeah, it might hurt at first. It usually does for me. <laughs> so make sure you check your form. Um, you can decrease your range of motion if you're not feeling super strong yet. Um, there are modified squats or try a lunge or something if squats aren't working. Also, your abs, super important. Your transverse abs are not your six-pack muscles. They're the deepest layer of abdominals. You're going to use those to tuck your tailbone, and that's going to support your psoas and make skating low easier. Your psoas is the muscle that helps lift your legs up towards your body. It connects your legs to the base of your spine. And so when you engage your abs, you can actually easier, more easily recruit those muscles when you're skating low. And the easiest way to train your transverse abs is to do planks. You can start at 30 seconds and work up from there, or uh, modify it to a knee plank if you're not feeling super strong yet, but just start low and work your way up. You can also strengthen your psoas with psoas crunches, but more importantly, 
you need to stretch them out because we sit in chairs for hours and hours and that makes our psoas muscle really tight. So we need to counter that by stretching out the muscle so that we can use it effectively. If you want a little more personal help with your skating, you can try an intro class at Oaks Park or join the Rutgers program like I did. Um, and I'm also going to have some links on my blog at uh, sarahgcreative.com. So I think that's my time. Thanks, everyone.